For some reason, I decided to buy the cheapest saw I could find on Amazon. Let's have a look at it and uh, we'll give it our thoughts. Try it out, make a fire, do our thing. All right, this is some kind of Chinese made. Obviously, it's Chinesey, uh, Chinese. It's not Chineseium. Um, specially ground tooth. It's probably a silky clone, to be honest. Um, cutting tools. It's um, I don't know. Pretty interesting. After use, remove wood chips. Apply oil and store. Do not store when blade is opened. Just basic information on there. So let's pop this thing open. Have a look at it, see if it's, I mean, it was $6, so it's not fabulous. It's uh, kind of what I expected. Let's uh, pull it out of its very stiff packaging. Um, checking the spine here, because uh, I, along with a lot of other folks, like to grab a fail rod and yeah, it throws decent sparks. So it looks to be some type of uh, stainless. Um, it does feel like it has some kind of a varnish coating on it. I don't know. So it's, a, it's basically a latch hook design. That little hook reaches over there, grabs that. Oh, that does not feel good. I swear it does just, ouch, that does not feel good. I have one other saw kind of like this one. And it's around Hua somewhere, but to the not really helpful. So the teeth are offset. If you look at a look at a real we can see these teeth here. They are offset, so it should go through the kerf well. The kerf is that space you cut through. Um, and a silky saw, the teeth are just thicker metal than the spine. Um, I get, you really don't even need that to latch, but that latch does not feel good. I feel like I'm breaking something when I push that down. I really feel like I'm, I'm breaking something. See, it, it just latches into a, a groove cut in the blade here, and I just smash it down like that, I guess. A very dainty pin there. You can take the blade off. This is a very, very plasticky handle. This saw is very light. That's that's one positive right there. It's a very light saw. It does have like medium teeth. A lot of these saws get real aggressive with their teeth. You don't need that. In fact, it makes it more difficult to cut hardwoods. Uh, they're very sharp. They're very, very grippy. You can see how they were hardened with that darker edge. It's just basically a shifting magnetic field. It goes back and forth very rapidly, heats up the blade to a very hot temperature, and then right behind it is a jet of oil or water that instantly cools them. That's how it does. They just do just the very edge of those teeth. Just the tips. Uh, it's a pretty ingenious way to harden things. It feels very light, very, very cheap. Like it's It could break pretty flexible blade but uh, we won't know how good it is till we go cut something so let's go do that this really feels like a very chinese -ium. I, I use that word a lot so if it's glass reinforced plastic you can hear it cut the fibers when you cut through it this I can't hear a thing, so if it is glass reinforced plastic, then I can't tell. And if it is, it's a very, very low, low density one, if that's the right term. Not a, not a fan of how that sticks out the end there, but now how do you like that new new toy? You got my name engraved on it. Ain't that nice of them? This is a boker. I got sick of opening up a pocket knife with two hands and Poke, I, I shake so it'll poke me occasionally. But this is just a, a smart solution to that. 
So very lightweight, very thin blade, and it will strike a fail rod. And for seven bucks, six bucks, probably can't find an equal. So let's head out to the yard and see about cutting a few things and give you my thoughts. I'm gonna grab my silky. This one is the, the silky that everybody's trying to copy, the little pocket boy. This one happens to have a curved blade, but you can see the difference in the teeth size on it. The blade is identical in length, but have a look at that teeth size difference. This, I'm not ashamed to admit, is gonna cut hardwoods better. Whoa, what are we focusing on? I'm off it. There, this saw is going to cut hardwoods a little better just because of those teeth. But the silky teeth are very, and the steel is much higher quality. So let's go out and compare them and see what we look. Let's go see how they look at cutting stuff. Now we're sitting out in a wood pile here. Uh, this is aspen, so it's not a, a great test, but it's equal. So I have a go at this mess. Already, I don't like that I have to latch it like that. This is a far better design. Just pop it in there like that. But let's have, let's try something here. Uh, a chunk of aspen here. Slide out of the way, silky. We got work to do. This is just an aspen tree. It's been dead for a year or two and just something I had to get, get rid of before it fell. <laughs> that is smooth. That is really smooth. I like that. That's pretty smooth. That is real slick right there. Let's move this big log. This is what killed all these stupid Asian borer beetles in base of the Utah, but hell if we can do anything about them. That is really quite nice. The grip on it's not too bad. I'm using gloves. I like that it's that it's straight blade. It's really slippery. It's like it's definitely a plasticky grip, but uh, let's give it a challenge, kinda. So, I mean, it's aspen, so how challenging it's gonna be. got plenty of grab to it. Nice, nice amount of bite. I don't feel like uh, I'm having to push a lot. I mean, already it's better than that. Okay. I goobered up my teeth somehow. That was too, that was surprisingly hard. Hmm. <laughs> Feel like I've ripped the teeth off of this. It still grabs, but it is not cutting nearly as well. Maybe it's the width. Um, what the heck? If I put some more pressure on this, the silky does cut better, but... I don't want to have to put a lot of pressure on it. Hmm... It's cutting better than that silky. 
And I do love my silkies. Let's try another medium tooth saw. Do a little more apples to apples comparison. All right, I grabbed a couple to compare it to. I'm a little uh, shocked at how much better it cuts than so silky. I'm a, hopefully it's just a tooth size difference. So we are gonna compare it to a medium tooth um, silky gone boy. This is the 300 millimeter version, probably one of the most popular saws for bushcraft and outdoors. The teeth on this are smaller. This is the medium tooth again. Um, straight blades, so pay it. perhaps that's really good. Scrape the teeth off. Perhaps it's more of an apples to apples comparison. So let's try this out. Obviously the length helps out, but that's a much, much faster cut. Yeah, it's the tooth design, but this is cutting very, very well. I'm actually shocked. I do hope this lasts. I have a hunch that this is gonna fail. This latching mechanism just seems like hot garbage. I don't like that at all. It just really feels like it's just not very good. So far, it's very worth $6. It is well worth the $6. I don't even know if I need that latch. Yeah, you can cut without the latch just fine, apparently. All right, let's try something a little bit uh, bigger. How about this guy? I know I should be able to cut this just fine. fun to cut with. It is lots of fun to cut with. But so is the steel. Just gonna look here. That's what the silky looks like. That's the steel. And that's a six dollar saw. So you compare the two cutting surfaces between the steel or between the silky and the six dollar saw. They this is sliced very well. That's not too bad either. The steel edge, though, looks pretty... Well, the teeth are bigger, so it makes a much better, bigger difference there. This is kind of... I'm very unpleasantly surprised. Again, even if the latch... looks like even if the latch fails, you don't need it. You don't, you don't really need it. I mean, your pressure's holding it open, and it stops right there, so... What's the stopping mechanism? Oh, you see this tiny little pin right there? That little rolled piece of metal? That's the brakes. That is what this blade stops on. It's got a notch up in here. That op when it opens up, it bonks into that little pin. Hopefully that's some high quality metal. If not, that is absolutely going to bend. 
you could reinforce that with another pin though it's hollow so stick something heavy through that <sighs> very static -y handle not a big deal but this really it it grabs it it's got some bite to it I really don't, I'm just putting backwards pressure on it. And it seems like it's driving itself quite well. This is Aspen, so who knows what it's going to be like on hardwoods. It could be a disaster. I'm going to try my pocket boy again. I mean, I've used this saw a lot. It does feel like its, it's uh, teeth are a little bit worn. So it is taking more effort, and I'm not sure if that's a mechanism of a curved blade or not. But it does take more effort to get through. Let's cut something a little bit tougher. A bowel. Let's give this a, a saw on. friend the steel saw not that this is a very fair comparison anyway because this is not a whole lot denser than the aspen yeah simple 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 Okay, so, what do I think about this fella? The latch is going to break. I can tell you right now, that's not going to last very long. Um, second, this pin it just does not inspire confidence, so I think the blade is going to end up uh, bending that pin and over time, especially if you leave it open, like it says in the package, don't store with the blade open, that's probably why the tension against that pin will bend it. So you might want to stick a, like a finishing nail in there like a carpenter's nail, something like this. Actually, it's probably gonna stay in there. Um, this is just a finishing nail. And that's probably gonna stay in there just like that. I'll, I'll grind that off the grinder. Um, closing it is fun. It always, it seems to miss quite frequently. It's not bad though. It really is not bad. I would say it's well worth six or seven bucks. That I'd say is very worth the six or seven dollars I spent on it. Names in the description. And uh, if you feel like it, grab yourself one. 